Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by Adobe Tutorial Man. Today I'll be teaching on how Drop Shadow works in Photoshop CS4. Um, we're going to go to File, New. We're going to do uh, a custom. It doesn't really matter what size you're going to be doing. And this can be a really quick tutorial because it's really simple. First we're going to, once it's done, alright. We're going to get rid of this uh, lock on it, so it says layer, and I'll name this bird, you'll see, you'll see why in a second. I'm going to go into our custom shape tool, we're going to take out a bird, a bird, and I'll make it black. Alright, as you see we have a bird on our uh, stage, you know, you, you can move it around. But, the one problem is that we need to get rid of the background color. Which we need to do is by clicking the background, right when you come in back, click out background, and just erase the white. You don't know what I just said. Uh, I'll say it really clearly now. Um, Alright, you have the backstage, and you want to double click on it until it says layer zero, zero. Get your eraser tool and just wipe out all the white. All right, then go to custom shape tool and make your bird. Uh, now I can move it without any background affecting it or coming nearby, nearby it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on our, I'll name it bird layer, bird, bird. I'll put it over here. And we're going to click in the very middle of that until it pops up our layer style. Alright, we're going to click on draw down shadow. Click on that. And this way we can tell which rotation we want this to go. Um, I'm going to make the color gray. Instead, let's make it dark gray. Dark gray. And quality. Marketing design, and we want this to go somewhere else. We just want it to like that. All right, size. We want size to be normal. Uh, we want it to be just a little blurry. Spread. Uh, I think we don't want that much spread. Um, and that's fine if you want to add noise to it, which I think you're not going to. That's the way to go seeing what these can possibly do for the bird and we'll do that one press ok and there you have it that's uh your drop down shadow you can do it on anything i mean anything say if you have a camera take a picture of that you can make a drop down shadow of it in photoshop all right this is adobe tutorial man and subscribe rate comment and bye.